Khadi reminds us of India's Swadeshi movement led by Mahatma Gandhi. It is a symbol of freedom. But beyond that, it is also the fabric of the future characterizing sustainable fashion. The sustainable textiles market is valued at 58 billion US dollars, growing at 11% every year. And yet, the value of Khadi exports in 2020-21 was a meager sum of 0.2 million US dollars. Today, it is a trademark textile regulated by the statutory body, Khadi and Village Industries Commission KVIC. In order for Khadi to scale in the sustainable segment, a systemic change is required in the way the Khadi sector operates. Mahatma Gandhi always envisioned Khadi as a sign of self-reliance and indigeneity. However, Today, there is a marked deviation from this philosophy of Khadi. The current regulatory framework, which is seemingly created to safeguard the interests of artisans, have not been able to provide adequate financial security. The authentic form of Khadi is born out of a completely manual process, from harvesting natural fibers, refining the fibers, to spinning and weaving. The entire process of making Khadi is a labor-intensive one requiring intricate skills from the artisans. Yet, this elaborate art does not pay the artisans well enough. Many skilled artisans have abandoned the craft and joined the textile shops nearby as peace workers to earn better remuneration. This has collapsed the operations of a village society and worked in contrast to the social objective of KVIC, which was to build strong rural community spirit. Spinners account for approximately 78% of the artisans working in the Khadi sector. However, on an average, spinners earn only between 150 to 200 rupees per day, while weavers earn between 250 to 500 rupees per day. Spinner wages in the sector are even lesser than the wage of an unskilled worker working in the agriculture sector, which is between 362 to 400 rupees per day. Owing to paltry wages, the new generation of artisans is gradually exiting the sector to seek better employment opportunities. The regulations around the Khadi mark takes away the ease of doing business. The lack of competition from private players due to barriers in entering the sector minimizes innovation and marketing measures. CPPR suggests the following recommendations to smoothen the operations of Khadi and facilitate market competitiveness. There is a need to revisit legal provisions to create uniformity in the processes for the Khadi institutions and the new entrants to the sector. Easing certain provisions is necessary to facilitate smooth operations of Khadi businesses. For example, the procurement policy should be more flexible and allow stakeholders to procure from the open market to take advantage of competitive prices. Khadi should be categorized based on production techniques and shown whether it is free-spun Khadi or machine-spun Khadi so that the seller can charge the price based on the type of spinning. 
the branding of khadi should be done in a way that capitalizes on product differentiation as different regions employ unique methods and skills in the making of khadi rendering a unique customer base for each of them the freedom to form associations the freedom to earn livelihood and choose buyers without any form of coercion is the idea of economic freedom consistent with gandhi's philosophy it is time to reassess some of these policies governing khadi in order to restore the fabric's lost glory kvic should have a wider scope of empowering artisans instead of only creating employment opportunities what cppr advocates for is to realize gandhi ji's dream of economic freedom by freeing khadi from constrictive practices free the fabric of freedom from undue restrictions